Hey everybody, I'm Amy from Body Fit by Amy and this is your full body burn with weights workout. This is day one of your burn challenge. In today's workout, we're gonna work your entire body for strength, cardio, and mobility using either a set of dumbbells or a kettlebell or both. If you have both, you can alternate between circuits, otherwise just use what you've got. Of course, I will give you lots of options to work to your level, so listen to your body. All you need for this workout are your weights and a mat. Are you ready? Let's do it. Let's start just by getting our bodies warm. Go ahead and march, roll those shoulders. Let's get our core body temperature up so our muscles are warm, the blood is flowing, and a little bit of muscle engagement and movement prep as we get into this. We're gonna keep the warm up pretty short because we wanna keep this workout short. So of course, if you need more of a warm up, please get it on your own. We'll get enough right here, but sometimes we need more. You can check out the links in the description below for my extended warm up and extended cool down. Let's just do a little tap back and reach. So I want you right here, drive those arms up, tap it back to open up those hips. So we're just here to here. You can step out nice and wide. And if it feels good for you, you can drop it into a little bit of a lunge. Up to you. Grab onto a wall or a chair, couch if you need a little balance. And then let's drop it back. Let's turn over that front knee. Let's reach it up. Drop it back, turn, reach it up. Little bit of balance, so do the best you can. If you don't wanna get super low, that's okay. One more each side. Breathe. Right here. Good, hold it here nice and wide. Go ahead and open up that hip again. Grab on if you can. If you're able, lunge forward into that. Drop that back knee a few times, reach that arm up. And then take that arm through. You can drop the knee all the way down if you need to. Good, hand on the outside. Let's step it through, same thing other side. Step it out nice and wide. Find that good balance point for you where you're getting that hip opener. Take it here, reach it up, drop that knee. And take that top arm, reach through and up. Good. If it's good for you, walk back to that high plank position. If that's not right for you, drop to the knees or stay up top. We're just gonna take it forward and back into those shoulders, back into those heels. And then if you're able, reach to the side. You can also drop to the knee, reach to the side, warming up through that torso. Last one. Walk those feet in nice and wide. Hang out low for just a second. You can have your hands on something if you need to. Extend up and through and slowly roll it up. Let's tap and reach across right here. All right, team. So this is a quick workout. We have a circuit with three exercises, lower body, upper body, and core. And then we will add on as we go, add a little intensity, maybe add a compound movement, because we'll have three circuits of each of those three exercises. However, as we add on in intensity, we will go down in time. So your first round is 40 seconds of work, 20 seconds of rest. Your next round is 30 seconds of work, 15 seconds of rest, you're increasing your rest period too. Your last round is 20 seconds of work, 10 seconds rest. You always have the option to keep it back to basics with that round one. You can keep it right where we start, or you can add on if that is good for you. We'll get a little cardio mobility in between. We should get your heart rate up for cardio the entire time, and of course, I'm gonna give you lots of options. Go ahead and grab your dumbbells if you've got them. You can go heavy to medium. We're gonna start with an alternating side lunge. So watch me here, you're gonna step out right here to here. Sit into that hip, shift your weight. If you need to, you can make it just a side squat if that's better for you. 40 seconds, here we go. Side lunge, push through. So your first round, this is kind of all back to basics for this whole workout. Your first round is your basic round before we add on. So you can always stay right here. Again, if that side lunge is not right for you, 
You can take it to a side squat. You can keep it body weight, take the weight away. Or you can keep it stationary, just like this. Shift your weight, push up through the heel. So you're shifting to that outside hip and then driving up and through. Five seconds, your own pace. I'm not worried how many reps you get in. Last one and breathe, shake it out. 20 seconds to breathe, watch me here. We're gonna take it to a wide supinated row. So you're gonna start with your palms facing back, turn them as you come in to here. So here, squeeze, pull those elbows in, pull those shoulder blades in. Go ahead and hinge, flat back, here we go. Pull them in and squeeze. You got 40 seconds. You can be staggered like I am. I'm gonna switch my feet halfway through. Or you can be here. Either way, we wanna make sure that back is flat. Trying not to be here. So nice straight line. Pull them up and in. Squeeze. So you're rotating not only through those wrists, but through those elbows and the shoulder joints, right? Switch your legs if you want. Pull them up. Stay flat. So we really get a lot of good joint work with this exercise as well. Five seconds, breathe, three, two, one. Good, catch your breath. All right, one more from here. We're gonna do a racked march. So this is our core exercise, but we're gonna keep our upper body working as well. We're gonna hold it here, and you're just gonna march. What I want you to think about is flexing your foot, push into the foot on the ground, little bit of balance at the top, then here. Here we go, 40 seconds. So when you first look at it, it looks like it's not that challenging, right? But if you really keep these in that curl position a little bit out in front of you, really zip up that core. As you bring the knee up, flex the foot and really push into your standing leg. It's what we call anti-core, anti-flexion, anti-extension. You gotta stay nice and steady with this little march, right? You're feeling your biceps a little bit as well. 10 seconds to go. Then we're going into round two. We're adding on just a bit. Five, four, three, two, one. Give your hands a little break if you need it. Now we got 30 seconds of work followed by 15 seconds of rest. What we're gonna start with, watch me with those weights, is you're gonna do a little side lunge, step through. So you're going here, step into the bent leg, drag it through. Step here. Drag it through, it's a little bit different. Again, you can keep the side squat if you need to. You can take it body weight if you need to. 30 seconds of work, 15 seconds of rest. Side lunge, step through in three, two, one. Here we go, it's only 30 seconds. Push it through. So it feels a little different, right? Normally when we alternate like we just did, we push out of the bent leg and return to that straight leg. Now we're pushing out of the bent leg and it's a little step through, a little drag, right? Right through here. Whoo, little different, I know. Really activates those glutes. Five to go. Four, three, two, one. Yes, team. All right, now we got that wide row. Here's what we're gonna add. We're gonna alternate with it. So we're here. Here to here, it's gonna be a little bit different. Core engaged, ready, one at a time. Pull, pull, pull. If that feels like too much for your brain, I want you just to keep them together. It's a little different, because again, we have to resist the urge to twist. We want one pulling and one lowering. Yes, team. You can, five seconds, squeeze, squeeze, five, Four, three, two, one, and relax. All right, this time we're gonna keep that march, but we're gonna add a curl. I want you to bring the knee up first, then curl, then down. In fact, let's start them from the top. That's what I meant. Here, curl, here we go. So knee up, curl, switch your legs. Knee up, curl, lots of balance, right? So if that is not right for you, you can just do the march if this is better for you, or you can just do a curl, right? It's a core, I know, but it feels like it's more upper body. Knee, we're getting them both in this core round. Last five, breathe, one more. Yes, 
and relax. Shake it out right here. All right, we are in to round three. This is a quick one. It is only 20 seconds. With our side lunge, we're gonna keep it stationary. We're gonna go three, two, one, push. I want you to get as low as you can and you're just shifting side to side for three. Stay low, stay low. Then we're gonna take it with some little tap outs with our rows to get those outers still working. Then we're gonna add a press to it. 10 seconds of rest in between. 20 seconds is all that we need. Go ahead, grab those weights, core engage. Let's get it done. Side lunge pulse, nice and wide. Here we go. Three, two, one. Cross the weight over. Three, two, one. I would love for you to stay just this low the entire time. If you need to, you can come up. But if you can, stay low, flat back. Three, two, shift your weight. This is the burn round. Yes, you can. Three, two, one, relax. So we're gonna keep those same muscles working. Watch me, take it out, pull it in. Wide row, rotate the wrist, step out, flat back. Here we go, 20 seconds, right here, right here. Watch me, and breathe. Yes, you got this. Keep it moving, five to go, flat back. Really pull those elbows in, shoulder blades in, last one. Boom, all right team, last one. You're gonna go knee, curl, press, then switch. Knee, curl, press, join me, last 20. Knee, curl, press, think about your core. I know we're getting biceps and shoulders working too, but this is a core exercise. This is our core round, burn round, knee, core, press. If that's not right for you, just keep it regular. Huh. Yes, one more, shh, shh. breathe, shake it out, team, ha. Ah. All right, let's get those legs. Whew. I want you to do a little curtsy, reach behind, little cardio mobility, just for 20 seconds. If you want more cardio, take it here. Otherwise, reach behind, here we go. So that was your pull round, right? We got side lunges and we got pull upper body, our rows, our bicep curl. We had a little push with that press. So many things working. Heart rate should have stayed up. We're gonna get some swings in between. With your swings, you can go kettlebell or dumbbell or two dumbbells, whatever is best for you. Go ahead and catch your breath. If you can, go a little heavier on the swing. I'm gonna have everybody start with a deadlift. So grab that kettlebell, shoulders back, you're gonna hinge it here, bring it up. So go ahead and start here, pin those shoulders back. We call that packing the shoulders. You're gonna hinge, slight bend in the knee, kettlebell goes right in the center, bring it up. Same thing with dumbbells. If you have two dumbbells, just keep it here. Then you can go to that ski or swing. Start with that. If you're comfortable with the swing, watch me. You're gonna prep it back. You're gonna power it up, let it drop. Power it up, let it drop. All right, so let's get that done. If you're comfortable with the swing or you wanna try it, power. Let it drop. It's a hinge, power up, lock out of the top. We got 30 seconds to go, deadlift or swing. Here we go, prep it. Three, two, one, shh, drop, shh. So notice I am not going much higher than my chest. Chest to eye level, we would say. Not over the head and not arching the back. You're stopping, locking out at the top, squeezing the glutes and hamstrings, lock up the knees and the hips, zip up that core, Power up and through, all the way. Press into those feet. Keep those shoulder blades pulled in, but we are not lifting with the arms. Three, two, one. Swing and relax. Pedal those feet. Quick sip of water, team. We are going to our next round, which is using our kettlebell. Same format, 40 seconds three times, 30 seconds, then 20. Adding on as we go, but you can always keep it back to basis. So a heavy to medium kettlebell, we're gonna start with just a regular squat, right? So you're just gonna drop it down here to here. If you'd rather, you can have a goblet squat or you can keep it low or you can keep it body weight. It is up to you. Sit low in that squat, zip up in that core, 40 seconds. Here we go. Drop it low and drive it up. So we're keeping it stationary and we're not moving laterally like we did in the side lunge. Sit low or kettlebell in the center, drop it down. I want you to think that you're sitting back into a chair. So we're not going forward, 
We're driving those hips back and drive up through the heels. Those knees can be out a little bit, whatever is most comfortable for you. It's not a sumo squat, but certainly if your knees turn out a little bit and that's comfortable, go for it. Again, here or here. I just gave you a little preview of what's coming up. Three, two, one, and relax. Let's take it to the mat. We're just going with a regular chest press. So it's a close grip press. So we'll get chest and shoulders and triceps. Come down on to your back. If you want to add a little extra core, bring the feet up into tabletop. Totally up to you. Let's just get it going. Here we go. Press it up and down. If you're in my prenatal crowd, I want you to come up in that bridge or if you want a little extra glutes. But if you want some core, take it here. You can even bring your feet out a little ways to keep the core working. Straight up, elbows down. So here to here, chest, shoulders, triceps. This is more of our upper body push. We got pull, now we got push. Let's keep it going. Here we go. Breathe and up. Tilt that pelvis in to keep that core engaged. Five, four, three, two, one. Relax it down. All right, team. We're gonna take it into a plank. I'm gonna give you a few options. Your modification is just a bird dog. So pre, post, healing a DR, take it there. Otherwise, we're taking it here and we're just gonna tap our knees down together and up. Go ahead and join me here or stay on the knees. Three, two, one. So you're down and you're up. So you're in that good plank position. Elbows and hands shoulder width apart if that feels okay for you. Nice and tight in your legs and glutes. Little tuck of the pelvis, not dramatic. Another option would be to rest your knees down every time. If you can, just a little light tap. And again, you can always take it to the bird dog, opposite arm, opposite leg. I am sweating. Team, let's keep it going. You got 10, slowly down. Lift it up, down and up. We got three, two, one, and relax. Up onto your feet. We are back up to the top. This time, if you're comfortable with it, we're gonna add a little clean. So what that looks like is a little toss to yourself and a squat. If you can, we're gonna do a little pulse, clean, deep squat, and up, then let it drop. Otherwise, just keep your squat. Here we go, 30 seconds. Down, all the way up. Little pulse, clean, deep squat, and up. Pulse, clean. You can also do that, just pulse, and up. If you don't wanna do the clean, just goblet. Pulse, and up. Little extra burn. Yes, five seconds. One more, burn, relax. Ha, a little preview of what's next. All right, now we're back down. We're gonna add a little triceps. So 30 seconds up. If you're comfortable, take it over. Otherwise, you can just keep it with just your press. If you feel like that kettlebell, you don't feel secure holding it at that ankle, just keep it right here. Feet up, bridge or tabletop if you want that core. In three, two, one, 30 seconds up and over. I'm gonna give you one more option. If you want a little core, tap it down. Down and up. Triceps, again, I know sometimes we don't always feel as secure coming with the triceps with the kettlebell, so you do what's best for you. Be where you are today. You know I always say that. Yes, team, 10 seconds to go. Yes, breathe. Good, and relax. Back to that plank. Here's what we want, team. We're gonna do a little drop of the hip. Drop of the hip. So you're still bending the knees, but you're dropping that hip down so we get those obliques. Or bird dog. Here we go. Lift up, plank hip drop here, and up here. Little lift. So drop that hip as you bend that knee in, and then really use that deep core. Imagine there's a string on your belly button. Pulling up towards the sky. That is how you are lifting in that core, right? <sighs> Breathe. Yes, you can. Five seconds to go right here. We got three, two, one, 
and relax. Ha! Sweat. Last round. Team. Woo! Gotta get my towel. You got 20 seconds. This is all we need. You're gonna add a little press to that clean. So you have any of those options. You can just do a squat. You can do a squat, pulse, clean, or watch me. Squat, pulse, clean, and press. Join me for 20. Here we go. Squat, pulse, clean, press. Yes, you can. All the way up. So sneaking in a little extra upper body, right? Push and pull. Five seconds. Can you get at least one more right here? Sneak it in. Whew. Breathe. Yes, team. Back down on the mat. Up, down, up, down, up, down. All right. If you want to add a little bridge to this, up, triceps, and down. Or just keep your core that you just did. Let's get it done. Three, two, one. Here we go. Triceps with the bridge. Bridge is going down and up. Yes, you can. Up. Woo, 10 seconds. Remember, you can also get that core. Breathe. Yes. Good. Relax. Ha. Nice work, team. Back up onto your feet. How about we get a little bit of cardio mobility? Let's go hamstring curls. Bring them back right here. You've got 20 seconds only, then we're back to our swing. Here we go. And breathe. Breathe. Yes, team. Right through here. Yes. Five, four, three, two, one. Quick sip of water. All right, team, we're gonna get a swing. And then we have a last round. We're gonna call it our bonus round. We're gonna keep it quick. All right, team, grab that heavy kettlebell or dumbbells, bring it to the center of your mat. Again, I want you to give yourself a second to get set up, roll those shoulders back, hinge it here, and bring it up. Start with just a little hinge, and then we're gonna take it to whew, breathe that swing. You can keep the deadlift or join me for the swing. Shoulders packed. Pull back, core engaged, soften in the knees, prep it. Three, two, 30 second swing, let it drop. Lock it out, let it drop. Power from the back of the legs. Your arms are not doing any work. They're still benefiting. Squeeze in the back, but don't lift with those arms. Squeeze in the glutes, hamstrings, core to power it up in your back. Push into those feet, breathe out. That audible breath helps us connect with the core. Power for five, four, three, two, and one. Relax it down, pedal your feet. Yes, team. All right, we got a little bonus round. We're gonna put a lot of things together, all right? Whew. You can have kettlebells or dumbbells for this. I'm gonna go dumbbells. Whew. We're gonna start with a curtsy lunge. So we're gonna cross it behind. We haven't. We had a side lunge, but not really. Let's start with a curtsy for 40 seconds. Grab those weights, kettlebell or dumbbell. Here we go. Here to here. So you're alternating. We are close, team. Drop it low. If that's not right for you, I just want you to cross behind, or you always have the option to just drop to a regular lunge, right? Right through here. First round, 40. Yes. Here we go. Drop it low. Whoo! Ten seconds. Good. Five, four, three, two, one. Nice work, team. Here's what we got. We're gonna do a hinge row, up, and curl. Hinge, row, up and curl. If you wanna just do one or the other, that works too. We got 40 seconds, core engage. Three, two, one. Hinge, row, up and curl. I'm gonna keep it with that hammer curl. Up, whoo! Yes, you can. And up, 
You got it, team. Up. Whew. Take it down. Up. Take it down. Row shoulder blades. Five seconds to go. Can you get all the way through? Nice and strong. So many things working, right? Nice team. All right, so take it down. You are on whew, into that plank position. You're gonna take it here. You're gonna rotate to the side. You're gonna rotate to the side. So you're gonna pull with it. Shoulder blades here, core zipped. You can be on your knees if you need to. Here we go, your knees are here. Pull it up, drop it down. If that's too heavy for you, I want you just to go here with your body weight. Turn into it, right? Strong core all the way. Keep it moving, pull those back muscles in. Yes, you can, oh man. Woo. We got something fun coming up. There's only two rounds of this last one. So stay with me, pull and rotate, pull and rotate. Breathe, all the way through. Three, two, one, relax. All right, team, this is your last round. We're gonna call it a bonus round. Instead of a bonus move, we have three sets of 30 seconds, but we're gonna be putting some things together. So we're gonna go curtsy, lunge, row, step up, and curl. Let's start with that for 30. Ready, here we go. Curtsy, row, step up, and curl. If that's too much, you just pick one. Pick one or two or all three right here. You gotta go forward, do that row, step up, then breathe, down, row, up, and here. Here we go. Squeeze. Can you get one more? And breathe. All right, back down on your mat. Your second set of 30. You're gonna do everything you just did. If you want, you're gonna cross, cross, pull it here. If you're feeling good about it, you can press all the way up, but that is totally up to you. We are so close, team. Let's get it done. 30, zip up that core, row and twist, optional climber, optional press. Here we go. Row and twist. You can go cross and cross. It's only 30. And cross, up, press. You gotta be really confident with that press. Make sure your weight's not too heavy to go up. Whew, isn't it fun to have a bonus full round versus <laughs> just a move, right? At least you know you don't have a one minute. Whew, last one. Huh. Yes, and breathe back up onto your feet. Your last 30 seconds of your bonus round. It's just a swing. Whatever you got, swing or deadlift, kettlebell or dumbbell, last 30, then we are cooling it down. Go ahead, zip up that core, shoulders back. Let's get into it. Ha! Ah, this is it, I wanna see that power. Lock it out, let it drop. Hinge it, three, two, one, here we go, power. Burn, full body burn. Even if you're just doing the deadlift, I wanna see that power on the way up. Control the movement with the deadlift. Power it up with the swing. Zip up the core, lock it up. Yes, team, I know you're tired, but I want you to find that gas in the tank and power through these last five, four, three, two, one. Swing and relax. <laughs> Pedal your feet team, I want you to hang out right here. Yes, you can, and yes, you did. You can relax in your back, Woo. Bring those hands up here, roll through, cat cow, from a standing position. <laughs> Y'all, I'm sweating so much, I know. Round and here, round and here. <sighs> roll up and through, little taps. Water if you need it, or just keep tapping. I know, whew. Yes, team. Whatever that felt like for you, you know I'm going to remind you that you did it. 
That is all that matters. You showed up and moved your body. If you show up, you are succeeding. We just wanna keep moving. Whatever that looks like for you. If that was hard, it's because you were working hard. If that was challenging for you, it's because you were challenging yourself. Don't let your brain talk you into thinking that you didn't do that because you did. I'm here with you and you did it. I am so proud of you and you should be so proud of yourself. Again, I'm gonna be louder than that little voice in your head and remind you, you are worth it, you are enough, and you showed up today to do something for you and for all those that you love and all those that love you. Please get more stretching on your own and don't forget to check out the links in the description below. Would love to have you join us in the Body Fit Athletic Club. Make sure that you're on my email list so you get your free weekly calendars with links. You get those links early. And of course, if you're looking for equipment, check out the links below and my website. Let's get one big deep breath in and out. You did it. That was your full body burn with weights workout. Great job, everybody.